One SPS Elementary School is shining bright in the spotlight after winning a national award. We want you to explore your school. Learn how participating in spirit activities can enhance your school experience. All this and more coming up on First Bell. You're watching First Bell! What's up, SPS? I'm Teresa Scribner. And I'm Sophia Charchuk. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. Let's get into it. I'm sure you love seeing us on your screen, but we know you're really here for the students, so we're letting them bring you the news. Let's head over to Thurgood Marshall, where the school is celebrating a huge accomplishment. Our friend Saleya has the story. Thurgood Marshall is one of only two schools in the state to earn the prestigious National Blue Ribbon designation. The award has students, staff, and family floating on cloud nine. Yeah. <laughs> Principal Katie May made the big announcement to the students and staff during a school-wide assembly. Thurgood Marshall has been named an exemplary, high-performing national school. It's a huge honor for our community, and I think thinking about how parents and teachers and, of course, our students work together so hard it's just a wonderful moment to share with the whole community. After years of steady improvement in early literacy, Thurgood Marshall saw an increase in the school's overall academic performance. Yep. She attributed the school's success to teamwork and the support the school receives from the district's early literacy department. Our theme for this year is Together We're Better. And I just think this is such a perfect example of how we can come together as a school to really achieve something. I'm gonna be all teary, oh my gosh. The school will be formally recognized at an award ceremony in Washington, D.C. in November. Congratulations to all the students and staff at Thurgood Marshall. You've made SBS proud. Let's get a little bit rowdy. Samai Hagos is introducing you to students who believe the best way to have a great school year is to show your school spirit. School is about more than just textbooks and tests. It's also about creating lasting memories and a sense of belonging. That is where school spirit comes into play. At Ballard High School, Nina Ondo is a very busy beaver. The junior is involved in student government, link crew, lacrosse, choir, and is a member of the cheerleading squad. She's also the school mascot, Bucky the Beaver. For Ondo, participating in school activities, especially being the school mascot, deepens her connections and gives her a sense of pride. Oh, I can be walking and they'll be like, Bucky, and I'll get a high five or I'll get a hug. And I'm like, this is awesome because they don't even know who they're talking to, but they just know that they love this thing. It does give me a sense of pride in the sense that I feel like I get to be connected with everyone no matter what and no matter who they are. For students at Roosevelt High School, being in the band means having a built-in community. It's especially important for Alex Chidiak and Milo Nelson, who both said being in the band is what makes their high school experience enjoyable. Part of my love for this band is it's switched from being enjoying to play the clarinet and just enjoying the people here. To be a part of a community, like you said, mm -hmm. it really felt good to me. I felt like I belonged in something for once. Cheerleaders play a huge role in keeping school spirit alive. Whether it's hyping up the crowd or cheering on teams from the sidelines, cheerleaders at Ballard, Cleveland STEM, and Lincoln High Schools have made it their mission to get kids to show their spirit, even if it means making a fool of themselves. There needs to be people who put themselves out there to do it first before and then that way everyone's like, oh, they're doing it, um, why don't I do it too? Because it really is fun. Many of them said waiting until senior year to join in the fun may leave you with regret. Ever since COVID happened, like, I definitely th wish I'd done stuff that I didn't get to do because of COVID. So like, that was definitely a teaching moment of just, just do it. You're going to have fun at the end of it. And if you don't, then it's okay, try a new thing. There are so many ways for students to show school spirit. Participating in student government, joining clubs, even dressing up for spirit days. Students can reach out to their school's activities coordinator to find out where they can plug in. We had such a great time reporting this story and meeting all these students who are so passionate about their school. There's more to this story to tell. Check out the extended version on First Bell Extra Credit on SPS social media platforms. We've got some really important announcements, so get ready for The Rundown. The 
The testing window for all 11th graders to take the PSAT and the National Merit Scholar Qualifying Test is open until October 27th. The exam has transitioned to a digital platform and students are required to use an SPS device, no exceptions. Students who don't have a district laptop should connect with their school's testing coordinator to check out a district device. Students in grade 8 through 12 can check out more than 50 colleges at the 6th Annual Seattle Black College Expo on November 4th at Rainier Beach High School. Students can learn about the admissions process, scholarships, and more. Be sure to sign up. It's never too early to start planning for graduation. The commencement schedule for the class of 2024 is now posted on the district website. Dates are set, but locations are still being finalized. That's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. And be sure to subscribe to our School Beat newsletter. You can find the latest edition at seattleschools.org. Until next time, I'm Teresa Scribner. And I'm Sophia Charchuk. We'll catch you later for First Bell.